Welcome back to Overthinking Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Pi Core Player on a Raspberry Pi. So this is part of my Logitech Media Server series where I cover sort of all the aspects of it that you need to get whole home audio up and running. I will link to the playlist with the rest of the videos down in the video description. If they aren't all out, make sure you subscribe so that you see those as they get released. For this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a, I'm going to call this a normal Raspberry Pi. I have a 2B here. Uh, this will work with Raspberry Pis 2s, 3s, and 4s uh, at the time of recording. That's, that's what's out there, and that's what this will work with. In this tutorial, I'm not going to cover setting up Wi-Fi for Pi Core Player. I'm going to cover that in my video on setting it up with a Raspberry Pi 0W, which will be separate. I'm also not going to show you how to use a USB DAC in this video. That will also be in the Raspberry Pi 0W video. So if you're interested in either of those things, be sure to look out for that video if it's not already out. For this video, we'll be using a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card to hold Pi Core Player, and of course some way to connect the micro SD card to your computer. Power supply, obviously for the Raspberry Pi, and an Ethernet cable for networking. To flash Pi Core Player to the micro SD card, I'll be using the Raspberry Pi Imager, and I will link to that software page in the video description. And then, of course, we'll need to download Pi Core Player. I will again link to this in the video description. Under Downloads, check or select the 32-bit kernel. The 64-bit kernel should work on Raspberry Pi 4s, but the 32-bit should work on all Raspberry Pis, and there's no reason to go to the 64-bit. Once that file has downloaded, you'll have a compressed zip archive that you should be able to open. Uh, in my case, mine's opening here with 7-zip, but Windows should be able to just open this by default. And we just need to extract the .img, sorry, .img file. So that that shows as separate from the .zip file. Then with Raspberry Pi Imager, we'll select Choose OS and we'll scroll down to Use Custom. And then we need to find that PyCore.img file, wherever you have that saved. Again, making sure you select the .img and not the .zip file. Selecting Open, we can choose our storage device, which I first need to plug in. We can select our storage device, and we have this gear icon that lets us select things like host name and Wi-Fi passwords. That doesn't work for this. Uh, whatever you set here will just be completely ignored, so you can feel free to just not set anything. Uh, Instead, so we'll just click right. We will hit yes, and then yes again. Again, one of those is technically for the settings, which won't get applied. Writing for this shouldn't take very long, just really a few seconds on most systems. And now we can remove the micro SD card from our system. And just like that, you have your micro SD card. Uh, if you're following along with this tutorial, you'll put that in the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, or 4 that you have. Otherwise, if you bounce to this video from the Raspberry Pi Zero video, you are free to bounce back to that video. So I've got my Raspberry Pi all set up here. I've got power, HDMI, Ethernet. I also have USB for mouse and keyboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Micro SD card is already installed. And we should be able to see the first time boot up here. Now at this stage, the Pi Core player has fully booted up. We have listed right here our IP address. If you do not connect this to a display, you're gonna have to get that IP address through some other method. Normally, that's done by just logging into your router and finding where the device shows up. I'll show that in the Raspberry Pi Zero W video. The issue there being every single router is different, so the method varies router to router. Now that we have this IP address, 
PyCore player is already fully set up. However, on its own, it doesn't do anything. The PyCore player component of this just lets this guy output audio. By default, it's gonna output through the 3.5 millimeter jack. The rest of this needs Logitech Media Server in order to control it. So go check out the Logitech Media Server setup video as that will show you how to get the PyCore player recognized in LMS.